Do you like writing SQL queries? I don't, but sometimes it's needed. I can write them, I can understand them, but I just don't like it. If you do, that's great. In this video, I would like to try to show you how to simplify SQL usage by adopting Laravel's way of handling database operations, the way that should give you more confidence and boost your code readability. I will try to show you how to write the queries that look like this instead of this. Of course, WordPress provides WPDB object that makes the database interactions a little bit easier, but in some cases it still might be not enough. I have a feeling that writing a row SQL queries makes the code less readable by default. And that's opinion, not a fact, but I still recommend to view the whole video to check out if it's something useful for you. A Laravel database manager called Capsule is a part of the Illuminate database package which can be installed using Composer and the following command. Manager can be initialized by creating a new instance of Capsule class, which as a WPDB is a central point for accessing database operations and making the interactions with it. Once created, we need to establish connection by passing the database configuration into the add connection function. Of course, there is no need to initialize capsule object every time you want to make interactions with database. You can create a module responsible for managing database operations, create instance there and reuse through all the code. The module is located in the FM core namespace and initialized in the app facade. You can use lazy evaluation as follows to create an instance of capsule only when needed. That's a really useful mechanism to not block the main thread when some functions are not needed to run immediately after initializing the application. Once the module is created, you can access the capsule object using the singleton pattern and method trains through all your code. Ok, so let's try to make the first interactions with our database. I will start from managing database schema. So for example, if you want to create, remove or check the table existency in your database, you can use the schema manager available through the schema method on the capsule object. It provides an access to the simple methods like has table, create, truncate to make the interactions with database easier. And in this example we want to create a new table, so at first we check if it's already created in our database. If not, we perform operations and build the table using three simple columns, id which is a primary key, name and age. Similar things in WordPress can be handled using WPDB object, but I think that we all can agree that there is a difference in code readability between both solutions. Of course, after spending some time we can understand what happens in the WordPress native way, but the difference in code readability is noticeable. And now it's time for something that will be used probably more often, which is querying the database from some kind of results using Query Builder. To perform the standard CRUD operations like create, read, update or delete, you need to access Query Builder with the table function and build the query using other methods available there. Similar results can be achieved using WPD object, but again, even in this simple scenario, the difference in code readability is noticeable. Methods training does the job. Of course, you can perform much more than making simple queries for getting the results. You can create an entry, uh, update entries or delete them. It's up to you how complicated your queries will be. You can access the official Laravel database manager documentation to check what other possibilities do you have. Ok, I talk only about the most simple scenarios here, so let's try to analyze how does the capsule object handle more advanced queries. And we try to analyze this simple function that is initially created using WPD object. This is some kind of repository that allows querying results from database from custom tables using optional parameters. WordPress doesn't have any query builders, so in fact we need to build a query on our own using uh, arrays, string concatenations and other tricks. Once the codebase grows, managing this codebase becomes more and more problematic. Adding joins operations, uh, excluding parameters, creating more custom logic can make the code readability hard as hell. I've experienced this uh, not really once and believe me, it's nothing funny. Ok, so how does the capsule object handle this? 
One of the biggest advantages of a WPD object usage is that the capsule doesn't require writing a raw SQL. We can build a query using simple methods like where, where in, join, limit, uh, skip and many many more in different places until we execute the query using the get command. So the code created using capsule object looks much simpler. We query the post table, we choose columns that we want to get in return, we set the pagination, ordering and handle where clauses using the optional parameters. As the last step, we execute the command and get the results using get method. So, even if the codebase grows, this repository remains simple and easy to extend in the future. The queries also take more human form, which allows me to feel more confident while crafting solutions that need to access the database and make the operations of them. It also allows me to like a little bit more handling database operations. It's just easier and better and that's important, especially if you create a long-term project or work with the team where each team member might have really different experiences and knowledge. So if that's so great, is it my default choice for all the WordPress projects that I make? Totally not. I don't think that uh, using external and additional library just for handling super simple scenarios is worth. In most cases, in most simple cases, the using WPD object is enough to work with. But if I would work with more advanced projects where more advanced database operations uh, needs to be handled, especially when working with the custom tables, which in fact are the really important part of the WordPress op optimizations, I will talk about this in the next videos, I would totally try to use the Laravel capsule because it makes the code base better. I feel better better when using it. A Laravel Capsules object offers many advantages over the manual SQL created using WPD object methods. It enhances code readability and maintainability by abstracting complex SQL queries into the chainable methods. It reduces errors risks and what's important for me, it boosts up my confidence when it comes creating the solutions that handles the database operations and that's really really important. And that's all in this video. I treat this video as a short introduction to the series about the managing WordPress database operations, so more videos will be coming on this channel soon, but I hope that you like it and I hope that it uh, is a great introduction also for you to make your project better, especially if you work with custom tables or more advanced topics in WordPress. Let me know in the comments what do you think about this, is it something that uh, can be really useful or is it not needed in most of the projects that you make? I'm really interested in what do you think. Also check out my blog for the latest release notes because I've introduced interesting features that should help you learn in an easier way. The features introduces more context to our knowledge that is needed especially if you learn something new. I hope that you enjoyed this, please let me know in the comments what do you think. Thank you for spending a time with me. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to thumbs up because it gives me a lot of boost to create new videos. Also, if you don't subscribe my channel already, I insist you to click subscribe button to stay up to date with the latest content. Thank you again and see you next time. Bye bye.